welcome to Bowser Training Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. And also feel free to subscribe to our uh, WeChat. Uh, we will constantly be publishing some technical articles. All right, so today we're going to talk about uh, this problem. It's called uh, close is a binary search tree value two. Um, so it's a it's a continuation of the previous problem, uh, closest binary search tree value one. So, okay, so what is this problem? So let's say given a non-empty binary search tree and a target value. So we, what we want to do is find a uh, K values in the BST that are closest to the target. So for example, like this is a binary search tree giving you a target and then find the top two elements that are closest to values 3.714286 is four and a three. And then uh, basically there will be follow up. So assume this balance search tree is balanced. Could you solve it in less ON runtime where, where N equals to total number of nodes? And also it's giving you a, a little bit of hint. So let's quickly talk about the thought process. When, when first presented this problem, first of all, you will see this is actually very, very similar to uh, close to the binary search tree value, where the difference is this is only need to find the top value. So essentially you keep a minimal value and then you just keep comparison. Like you can do it in log n time. However, this one is top K values. How can you find top K values? So the brute force way is of course, you know, I put a troll here is because yeah, it looks very similar, but this one is actually way, way harder. <laughs> um, okay, the brute force way is essentially whenever you're giving you a binary search tree, right? So one thing is you can basically put it into an array in certain orders. Could be in order, that's the most uh, um, popular one. So that pretty much puts an array in the ascending order, or you can do a reversing order, which puts it into the um, descending order, or you can do like post order or pre order. They are not particularly very useful to put it into an array. But let's say if you put this into an array and then the problem will be easy, right? So I actually do a uh, simple simple graph. So let's say this is your binary search tree. If you do an in-order transversal, you put it into an array. And then let's say if your target is 14 and you're trying to find the closest three elements to this, all you need to do is basically, I believe what you, uh, you, you, you can do like a binary search type of thing and then find the value like closest to uh, 14 and that's 15 and then you go left and then go right. So essentially you can do it in uh, worst case ON or because it's already ON, you can literally just scan through the array and then and then just keep uh, keep track of the value. So this is the most brute force way. And then the time complexity, of course, uh, in this case will be O to the order of M because you are essentially, essentially you are traversing the entire tree. And also you need an additional array, which is also space complexity is O M. So how can we optimize from there, right? Of course, you can think about it as long as every time we, if you're we talking about top K type of things, you can, we can definitely think about like uh, a heap. So in this particular uh, case, we need a maximal heap. The maximal means the maximum of differences between essentially the delta between the node value and the target value. So back to this, if you keep a maximal heap, right? So let's say we do it in order. So essentially what we do is we have seven, 10, 12, this is our order. But remember this is a maximal heap. The, the value of the comparator we're gonna implement is the based on the uh, differences between the node. So basically seven. So first you have seven, you put it into the heap and then you have 10. And then uh, because it's less than, because it's less than the size of three. So you just keep pushing and then you push 12. The reason 12 is pushed uh, later, oops. The reason 12 is pushed later is because the target is 14, the difference is two, and then seven, the difference is seven. So the, in order to maintain the maximal heap, seven has to be on the top. So remember, it's, it's a maximal heap of a difference, not the actual value. So that's why you have to implement something in your node structure that uh, it will actually reflect that. For example, I think I have the code somewhere here. Mm. Yeah, so this is what I mean. You have to keep keep record of the number also you keep a record of the diff the differences and then the differences are actually the comparator um, okay so this is the second approach using a uh, maximal heap so with this approach you still have to traverse the tree in on order and then every time you insert into the heap it will be a log n time complexity so overall this time complexity will be on log n and then you will use okay space because your stack 
the your archive is maximum k. And then at this point, uh, so far everything seems to be pretty straightforward. And now, basically, they want to push it to you. So hey, can you actually do it in uh, less uh, less of O n time? The answer is actually no. Uh, here I'll explain it. So here there's a lead code uh, discussion group. Um, this guy proposed this method. It's essentially following the hint, right? So the hint is okay. Can you get the pre predecessor of a node, or can you get a successor of the node? The predecessor means basically the next the node, the next smaller node to end. Basically, it's kind of like in the in order traversal the the node right be, uh, before it, and then this successor is the node larger than that, which means in the in order traversal the node is slightly is the next largest to this one. And then try to have a parent pointer, and then it makes the problem much easier. So without pointer parent pointer, so here essentially is a hint of using threaded, threaded binary tree. So this is a threaded binary tree, and we have to use a what do you call it a double threaded binary tree. Essentially, is this tree will have will have like a two node, uh, a left and a right. So that's the binary tree, and then they will have a pointer previous points to the in order traversal the pre the predecessor. And then the next one is points to the in order traversal the post processor, but it's a little bit of stretch for an interview to be honest. So I don't think I listed it here as a, just a uh, 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 this is not the one I listed it here as a thought food of thought here using thre threaded tree, but I don't think everybody will do that in actually real interviews because. Is a little bit too stretch for interview and also you change the tree structure so this idea is okay following that if you cannot basically thread the trees and then you just have to have two stacks keep keep a record of one is the successor the other is the predecessor and then so just to put it into a graph what it means is really so you have your predecessor which which is all the elements that are less than the target and then Okay, let's let me put it this way: all the elements less or equal than a target. You later you will see what's the difference. And then here is all the elements larger than a target. So essentially, what what we do is we will still kind of uh, do a uh, uh, let's say a uh, in order traversal type of thing. And then you have uh, seven, you have uh, ten, you have twelve. So you just keep the natural order. And then here you do a reverse reverse in order traversal, which means you traverse the largest, the rightmost element first so that's you have 20 and 15 and then after that let's say if your target is 14 all you need to do is pick the smallest k elements so essentially you just uh, compare okay which one's smaller from here and also here and then you just need to pick the k element so here when you implement the iterator not the iterator when you put the elements just remember you know it's like in order to avoid the duplicates right so you have to have less or equal than or else this element, if you have the element exactly the same, let's say here you have element 14, it will appear in both. So you can either choose less or equal than in the predecessor, or you can choose this way. It's also the same. It's also the same, okay? Um, yeah, so with this approach, I think, you know, think about it. The worst case would still be O, uh, the time complexity would still be O M plus K because you have to traverse all the trees. Think about all the elements are actually less or larger than the target. You have to traverse the tree regardless. And then plus O N because you have to um, iterate through K times, right? However, the problem assume if the BST is balanced, can you do it better? So if it is balanced, that means ideally when you traverse the tree, it should only take log N time and then plus K. And then the space complexity uh, for this approach is pretty much um, it's O N because you have to put all the nodes essentially into two stacks. So the thread in the tree, I talk about it. I think it's a stretch, but feel free to read it. So the solution, okay, the brute force one, I'm not going to code it up, just code it on your own. Using a uh, max, maximal heap wise, kind of straightforward, have a priority queue if you're using Java. And then basically you just keep comparing the value and then essentially, you know, if it's uh, less, and then you add it to the queue and then you do a pre-order transversal, pre-order. I'm doing a actually a pre-order traversal. I guess I using a maximal heap. Yeah, you can do a pre-order traversal or in-order traversal, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Either way is fine. Did I say what kind of traversal I used? Yeah, in any order is fine, yes. 
Uh, this is the using the two stack one. So essentially, you know, you have a pre decessor stack, successor stack, and then you have to traverse it. First of all, in order and then reverse in order. Now you have built up your two stacks, and then you will have in this while loop. Essentially, if it's empty, just remember this case. You have to keep pushing, and then all else, if they both have values, you always choose the smaller one, vice versa, and then you iterate the k times. So one small part is remember. So like I said, you know. Either in the in order or reverse in order, you, you need to have a large or equal then because all else. So this is essentially the part that potentially can cut, can return early. That means basically if it's a balance, this should be a log n type of a complexity. But you cannot have like both is larger or equal then because then you have to put the elements. OK, here's the link of the lead code discussion. Uh, leave comments below if you have any questions. But um, yeah, that's it. Till next time. See you.